Have you ever gazed up at the sky and noticed something so bizarre that you wondered if you were dreaming? Perhaps you spotted what appeared to be a rainbow, but it was upside down. Or perhaps you noticed a flawless circle of light around the sun with two splashes of rainbow color on the sides. No need to pinch yourself, what you were witnessing was a distinct type of optical phenomenon known as ice halos. Although similar, these are not technically rainbows, but rather their own unique wonder. Some are rather common, while others are extremely uncommon. Rainbows form when sunlight is refracted by water droplets hanging in the sky, as you may know. When light moves from one clear substance to another, such as air to water, its speed varies, bending its root and dividing the light into colored bands based on wavelength, a phenomenon known as dispersion. But what happens when light strikes ice-covered water particles rather than liquid water? They can cause a wide range of visual phenomena depending on the shape and orientation of the ice crystals, as well as the direction of the light hitting them. To present, 119 different types of ice halos have been identified, and there may be more that we don't know about. So, what exactly are ice halos? What causes them to form, and what should you look for if you wish to witness one? Finally, are they a foreshadowing of something more sinister in the horizon? Hello and welcome to Z. Join me today as we look at stunning photographs of some of the most well-known ice halos and try to figure out how and why these delicately gorgeous spectacles emerge. This amazing image depicts a 22-degree solar halo seen over Grossgrotzenberg, Germany. 22 degrees refers to the angular radius of the halo, not its temperature. Consider drawing a straight line from a spot on the halo to the observer's eye. Then, from the sun at the middle of the circle to the observer's eye, repeat the process. The angle formed by these two sight lines is 22 degrees, giving rise to the name 22 degree halo. There are also 46 degree halos, which are larger than their 22 degree counterparts but also fainter. Halos can also appear in moonlight, as seen above. These eerie halos are known as moon rings or winter halos, but they are really the same optical phenomenon. The source of light separates them from solar halos. In certain photographs, the patch of sky inside a halo seems darker than the sky outside the ring, creating a dramatic effect that is frequently referred to as a hole in the sky. This occurs because, when light bounces and refracts off the ice crystals, none of it is reflected back toward the light source, resulting in an apparent darkening inside the halo to an observer. But this is only the tip of the iceberg, because ice halos can take on a variety of unusual and surprising forms, including brightly colored patches, upside-down rainbows, and even upside-down rainbows, at night. But, before we get there, let's take a look at the interesting optics that cause these weird phenomena. Water crystals in cirrus or cirrostratus clouds produce the majority of circular halos. These clouds form in the troposphere, 5 to 10 kilometers above the Earth's surface, when temperatures are extremely low. As a result, halos can be seen all year round, even in extremely hot climates. Atmospheric ice crystals are small, less than 10 micrometers long on average, and consistent in size and shape. This great regularity is due to the molecular structure of ice and is required for the formation of halos. Water molecules, you see, are made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Because the connections between hydrogen atoms are weak in liquid water, the bonds are constantly breaking and rebuilding as the molecules move past each other. When water freezes, however, the molecular mobility slows and the bonds between hydrogen atoms become cemented. As a result, a hexagonal lattice structure known as a tetrahedral arrangement is formed. This highly structured molecular structure is what leads the ice particles to form hexagonal crystals. Some crystals are flat, like plates, while others have hexagonal cross-sections and resemble columns. Despite this variance, the interfacial angles of these crystals cause them to act evenly. In reality, 
the angles between any two ice crystal faces are exactly the same. It is the remarkable regularity of the interfacial angles, rather than the mass or shape of the crystals, that permits millions of particles to scatter light with the consistency required to produce a halo. Halos can be rather colorful at times. This is because when light is refracted by ice crystals, the red and blue frequencies bend at slightly different angles and disperse. Two bright dots can be seen to the left and right of the sun in some 22-degree halos. These stunningly gorgeous phenomenon are known as parhelia, or sun dogs. Sun dogs form when hexagonal plate-shaped ice crystals take on a horizontal orientation. As previously stated, some crystals develop as thin hexagonal plates, whereas others form as hexagonal cross-sectional columns. When plate-shaped crystals form and descend downward, atmospheric drag causes them to orient horizontally, with the C-axis shown in the image almost completely perpendicular. Larger plates wobbled slightly more than smaller ones. This wobble, in turn, impacts how tall the sun dogs appear to be, with wobblier plates making the sun dogs appear more vertically stretched. Sun dogs are occasionally accompanied by another optical phenomenon known as a circumzenithal arc. These arcs resemble rainbows, but they're upside down, giving them a friendly, smiling appearance. These arcs occur over the sun only when the light direction and ice crystal orientation are just correct, when light enters the top faces of hexagonal plate crystals and departs the side faces. This, however, can occur only when the sun is lower than 32.2 degrees above the horizon and higher than 5. Because the ice crystals behave essentially like a 90 degree prism, color separation is outstanding, resulting in circumzenithal arcs with significantly more clarity than true rainbows. If you're lucky, you might even see one with moon rings. These strange arcs, known as lunar circumzenithal arcs, arise only when the moon is extraordinarily brilliant and low on the horizon. As bizarre as it may sound, it is possible to witness an upside-down rainbow at night. This is incredible, circular halos have been observed on Mars. Perseverance captured this shot on December 15, 2021. Some speculate that the source could be carbon dioxide crystals in the planet's frigid, thin atmosphere, or a mixture of CO2 and water ice. We didn't always know that halos existed on Mars, so you can image how pleased the Perseverance crew was to find this. Scientists anticipate that studying halos on Earth and finding them on other planets may give light on the composition of those worlds' atmospheres since the size and look of the halos provide indications about the types of crystals growing in the atmosphere. As a result, more research will be conducted in the future to document and comprehend the appearance of ice halos on Mars and other planets and moons. So there you have it, a primer on some of the more well-known ice halos and the optical phenomena linked with them. Here are some things to look for if you want to see one for yourself. Check for cirrus clouds first. These are the wispy, high-altitude clouds that contain the microscopic ice particles required to generate ice halos. Second, look for the sun or moon, but don't look directly at the sun, youngsters because it can harm your eyes. While rainbows originate around the anti-solar point in the celestial dome, which is precisely opposite the sun, most ice halos form near the sun or moon. And, while ice halos typically occur in clear weather, they frequently arise ahead of an incoming storm system. In other words, if you encounter one, don't stay outside for too long. Head inside and find a nice spot to enjoy the approaching storm. So, if the weather is nice but there is rain in the forecast for the next 24 hours, keep an eye on the sky, your chances of witnessing a halo will be increased. Of course, the best approach to find one is to look every day. Ice halos can form anywhere on Earth, so if you keep gazing up, you'll eventually see one. But there's a lot more to talk about when it comes to ice halos. There are many other weird and even more rare types of halos, and there are likely to be more still to be discovered. So, if this is a topic you'd like to see more of in the future, 
or if you've seen them for yourself, please share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.